So growing up uh, in Inglewood, in the city of Chicago, born Robert Taylor Holmes, you know, I was envious of people of the different ethnicity, ethnicities where I should see that they had much more than we had. And I always wonder why. And what was so hurting to me is that what was my obligation to change uh, that condition of uh, myself and my family and then those around me. So uh, that became my story, that became my ambition, that became my practice. Usually you think about security, you think about Barney Fife. You think about a guy, gone, shiny shoes. That wasn't my image. I wanted to be able to give something back to my people, to people that I employ. Uh, and I knew that this industry is low barrier to entry. So I wanted to make sure I come in to infuse education, to infuse professionalism, technology. And I think we've been very successful doing that. Training, training, training. Not only are these people getting top level training and shooting and riding and grooming and security acumen and police tactics, but our training goes about leadership. We have an Emerging Leaders Academy where we got emerging leaders that's coming in who are actually lieutenants, sergeants, captains, getting trained by people who train Fortune 100 companies. So we're getting people trained to understand how to develop themselves and how to develop others. What separates me is I care about people. And I'm not in this just for me and my family. And there's no people more economically, politically, socially, academically bankrupt than people in my community. So I'm gainfully employed in trying to solve some of those ills. How can I be a man that's been given a little knowledge, uh, I've been blessed to have a business, and not contribute to the upliftment of the downtrodden? That is not, that's, that's not the way I want to roll. So that's the way I believe I'm really committed to uh, the ministry of helping others less fortunate. I really conceptualize to whom much is given, much is required. I've conceptualized that, and that's what AGB is all about. My business, always giving back. It's about giving back, and not just monetarily, but in terms of development. If I develop a man or woman, you know, they then feel so uh, appreciated when they go and they bring home their paycheck and they put food on the tables. So directly, I employ about 500, 600 people, but indirectly, I affect thousands. That's the giving back. But it's not just giving money, it's giving life skills, giving training. When I had my first officer fly me to the White House to do a detail, he came to me and my brother Steve, tears in his eyes, and he said, the first time I got on the planes with you, and this young man uh, didn't even have a, a suitcase, he had his clothes in a jewels bag, garbage bag. And now this man's working as the number three person in AGB. He has a family, he found his wife at AGB. He developed his writing skills. He developed his uh, reading skills, his technology skills. That's what AGB is. That's AGB. That's John Griffin Jr. That's what we are.